Welcome back, everybody. I hope you took me up on my uh, request that you would play around with some of the options that are available in that little page builder. Um, we're going to be going a little further into that. So you can see what I showed you. I'm going to delete all that stuff. I showed you that the first thing I did was I made a section and then I made a wrap and then I added an item to it. So we'll just we'll do this one here uh, and this one. So this is taking up the full page and then I showed you that you could shrink this down and you can add multiple wraps in and you can even adjust so this one can be a third this one can be two thirds uh, you can you can adjust these things around however you want and then you can add additional sections or you could even copy this entire section so that you have a, a duplicate of it if I want to I can hide that section so it doesn't show up on the page and uh, basically, each of these sections and wraps kind of determines how things are going to break as the screen gets smaller and smaller. Um, and you know, you have the ability to hide things on mobile and all kinds of different options like that. Uh, one thing I didn't show you very much about is that you have the option. Uh, you can only use this once per page, but I made this thing that says this is the main content and then in a previous video I told it to hide that content and the reason why I did that was because you can actually come in here and you can take advantage of all this HTML builder stuff and then come in and add this one here called WP content or maybe it's called content WP uh, content WP and now I'm going to just stick that in half of that uh, now what's going to happen is whatever was up in this section is going to show up in this section. And you can see that is still a link like it was before, but it's in that little block that I had there. The problem is if you would leave this here, if you turn off the hide the content, then you would actually see that that would show up twice. And that is 99% not what you want. So one of the other things to notice is that by default, the main WordPress content is going to show up below all these widgety things. So if if you want to use both of them, the best thing to do would be to, let's see, we're going to clear all this out. If you want to use this muffin builder plus the main content thing, you would just make your very first uh, widget up here be the content, and then you can turn off the content thing, and you will have your content at the very top so uh, this thing is it's got a little bit of a learning curve you will forget to hit the update button more times than you want to admit but as time goes on you'll remember to hit it and you will love this thing now one thing that's kind of interesting if you write any HTML or CSS or even if you don't um, you can also come up here to this thing and view this as text and when you get text, then you're going to get the HTML tag. So there might be a time when you want to do, you know, class equals Dan's class or something like that. You want to add something in there. Maybe you want to do some modification, but you do have the ability to write these things as raw HTML. Now I'm going to copy that and I'm going to delete this out because speaking of HTML, there is also this other one that you're going to use a ton called column and column can be anything from a spacer which it's usually not to another html editor now there is some WYSIWYG type stuff here but you can also just write this in raw html right there in fact we'll close it we'll call it an h3 just so it looks a little different uh, and so the column allows you to do multiple columns of HTML down in the actual body and so you'll see that font size will change and we have some content there. In the next video we're actually going to start making our page look the way that we want it but in the meantime we'll come back here and just kind of look around at a few of these options. You can set a featured image which will be used in some uh, in some views. You can set a featured image for your page you can come down here and say, all right, I don't want any sidebars to show up. Uh, I want a slider, which we'll get into the slider stuff a little bit later. I want to hide some information. There's just some different things you can do uh, by playing around with each of these. So I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and click all those. 
And then uh, I don't think I want to do anything else there. Nothing else looks too interesting to me. So I'm going to update and I'm going to refresh the page. And you'll see that I got rid of, as I got rid of some of that stuff, I lost a lot of that weird graphic stuff. So let me just show you that down here. So as I come back here, uh, subheader. So if I don't hide the subheader, then I'm going to get that thing back that has the page title and all that on it and you may want to hide that and so if you do you come down here and you click the hide subheader thing and that will go away and so you can remove some content padding if you don't like a lot of that space around the outside so we're going to do that and we've gotten rid of a lot, little bit of the space that's at the bottom but that is a quick overview of what you can do with the page builder. Now, while we have a little bit of time, I want to show you that you can do the, essentially the same thing with posts. So we can say uh, my first post. And when I publish this, you'll see that right up in here, it shows that your page is called my hyphen first hyphen post, which is what I had said before. Now, if for some reason you want to change that, you can. Uh, you just have to make sure you don't use one of these things that was already in use. That's called a slug. So we're not going to reuse that. But you can see that there's similar things over here. You can add sidebars. You can play with the template. Uh, you can do. You can add sliders and videos. And you can have featured images and tags. And all the types of things that, that you would imagine you could do, you could do from here. Uh, there's some SEO stuff to get some search engine optimization in there. Um, none of that is going to be super crucial to us, but I wanted you to know that whether you're writing a page or a post, the options are pretty similar. You still have the wraps, you still have the dividers, you still have the items, and you. the only thing is that when you're doing a post, you can have these other types of formatting and these other tags and categories that you don't get when you do a page. So I'm going to cut this video a little bit short, and we're going to dive into looking at the actual content and how to make our page look like we want it to.